Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for our Made in Texas interview series. Bradley and Russell, thank you so much for joining us today. I had a chance to see the film last week, and I loved it. Thank you. Yeah, it's an honor to be here. Yeah, um, thank you so much. Why don't we start a little bit with you both telling us um, more about the project Facing Nolan and how the film actually came together. The documentary is obviously about, on, on the service level, it's about Nolan Ryan, you know, the arguably one of the greatest baseball players of all time. But a little bit deeper than that, it's about his family and how his family pushed him to um, to achieve the the heights that he achieved. When you grow up in Texas in the late '80s and early '90s, you know, and you like sports, um, Nolan Ryan's top of mind all the time. Uh, the no hitters, the strikeouts, the um, the fist fights on the mound. It doesn't get any more Texan or, or more epic than Nolan Ryan. I think we caught the family at the exact right moment. And Ruth, is, who is the driving force, as you probably know from the movie, mm -hmm. was very much a driving force of this uh, for us as well, because I think her, her advocacy for wanting to do a project was was there uh, in a deep way. I can only imagine that if Ruth wants something that he probably just has to go along with it for the most part. I think that's happened his entire life. <laughs> oh yeah, life. that, that so. seems very true. Yeah. <laughs> Nolan's wife is is a central figure in this documentary and mm -hmm. she's she's a force of nature. She's mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah. Um, uh, did you have that in mind, like going into it as you were preparing uh, or did that start to evolve? It, it definitely was not, number one on my thoughts right when we started making the project but she actually wrote a really lovely book about her time um you know when they were playing when nolan was playing baseball and the opening chapter of her book um she details nolan's final game mm -hmm. and it, it kind of got me emotional and it made me realize that you know um she uses the word dying on every pitch um, she, you know, she felt like she would die on every pitch that he threw. And, and to me, that was such a, uh, that was such an interesting and, and compelling sentiment. I'm really pleased that people are coming away with the fact that Ruth is the heart and the strength behind Nolan, because to me, um, that means that we did our job. Can you tell us about some of the places you filmed and, and what was the local response to the project? We got to film an interview at the Astrodome. Um, mm -hmm. which was quite a trip for me, especially because we were filming one of my other sports heroes, Craig Biggio. We went up to Dallas and filmed at uh, Globe Life Field, the brand new Ranger Stadium. But Globe Life Field is so diverse looking, so interesting looking. It's brand new that we could just go from room to room to room to and, and have, create all these unique different looks. We had the opportunity to film a lot around Austin because that's obviously where they kind of reside. Um, with Dell Diamond in Round Rock. And we did some filming in Taylor with, uh, you know, some of the train shots. And, and then we kind of picked up a few other areas. Some are on his, his family ranches, which are, are all over the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. But we also filmed in Alvin, which is where he's from. I had never been to Alvin. I thought it was a beautiful town. I mean, we get to hit a lot of little towns that just uh, typically have not had a lot of filming done there. Uh, mm -hmm. But everybody in Texas, and I think it's a resounding uh, pat on the back, is that everybody's usually excited about this stuff. And, I, and that's, a, that's a passion for the film industry, and it's a passion for storytelling. And, and um, yeah, we, we were met with that exact same excitement. Excellent. So where can our audience connect with you if they're interested in learning more about Facing Nolan? So they can go to facingnolan.com, which is our, our main website. And we actually have a newsletter that you can sign up for. And we'll send information out about exactly where to, to check out the, the film. Excellent. Is there anything else you guys want the audience to know or um, you want to share before we go? I don't think so. Other than yeah. keep making movies. Keep, you know, <laughs> keep, keep making keep movies in Texas. Yeah. Keep making movies yeah. in Texas. Yes, please.